A summit of leaders from nearly 50 African nations begins in the district today. And as Brian Carter reports, that could add up to some major traffic troubles for you. We want justice! We want justice! On this first day of the U.S.-Africa summit, a call to action. We challenge Obama to his own demand what he said in Ghana in 2008 freedom and democracy. This morning, U.S. and African government leaders, including Secretary of State John Kerry, gathered inside the National Academy of Sciences for what's being called a civil society forum. Meanwhile, outside the building, hundreds of Ethiopians stood together chanting for change they'd like to see in their home country. Just come to show how, how we are uh, uh, started and we, how we are angry for democracy, for change. for change. This summit is the largest event any U.S. president has held with African heads of state and government officials and is designed to foster stronger ties between the nations. But it's also creating traffic trouble spots downtown. <laughs> From motorcades to road closures and parking restrictions, the D.C. Department of Transportation is warning drivers to avoid areas downtown near the White House, State Department, World Bank, and near the Mandarin Oriental Hotel. The anticipated bumper-to-bumper -bumper backups even has federal agencies urging employees to telework. Now, the closures are expected to change from day to day, depending on where the group is meeting. For all of the information you need, just head over to our website, WJLA.com. In Northwest, Brianne Carter, ABC 7 News.